All right, Jack, got one for you. Very important, very important. So, you know, even though you turn the disconnect off or you turn the breaker off, you should still get your meter out and check and make sure there's no power, right? Well, as time goes on, sometimes you get a little overconfident because you can clearly see that if you pull the disconnect out of this unit, here's the line side, here's the load side. If I pull the disconnect out of this unit, I shouldn't have any power in here. But uh, we're gonna change this blower motor. And as we drop the control cabinet, there's a ground wire that connects. And when we break this ground wire loose, I get this buzzing noise. And that's electricity. So I check and I got a weird 12 volts blending through the low voltage system. It's not coming from the transformer because the power's off, right? I clearly check it. And I want you to see this. Pay attention. Life depends on. Do you see that there's 272 volts there? 272 volts. This is only a 230 volt unit. Okay, so what's my incoming power? Wow. So with the disconnect out, this unit is still hot. Okay. Turn off the breaker to the indoor unit. You know the answer, go ahead and tell me. It's supposed to be here. It'd be a lot easier than trying to do all this stuff one handed. But anyway. Okay, now I got zero volts. Zero volts coming into the unit because I turned the breaker off to the unit. So now you think you're for sure you're good, right? You check it, it's got zero volts. Now watch this magic trick that'll put you right in the graveyard. 280 volts. 280 volts on the load side. Is this weird back feed coming out of the capacitors from this uh, variable speed motor? Can't see it right now, but... <laughs> Thought about that, already got that disconnected here. It's not coming out of anything inside of here. But literally watch this blower motor try to start with the disconnect out. Uh, noticed a couple sparks when we were moving the case around. I don't want to do it right now because this unit is hot. Everything in here is hot. If I touch the wrong stuff, I'm getting shocked. And um, now we got to figure out what's doing it. So we're gonna to go to the roof and look for some miswires or something that's shorted out. I don't know what's doing it, but I do know this is a perfect example of even though you have pulled the disconnect out, even though you have turned the disconnect off, use your meter and make sure and check it to ground as well. If I check one line to ground, I'm getting 60 or 70 volts. If I check the other line to ground, I'm getting 50 or something volts. But when I check them together, you saw it was close to 280 volts. And um, it's the amps that'll kill you. It's, it's, it's more than enough to kill you. All right. Be safe out there.